In this video we're going to solve the error next router was not mounted. So this error exists because the Next.js router has changed since Next.js 13. So here I have an example, I'm getting this error because I'm not importing it from the right uh, well source here. So it should not be next router, it should be next navigation. And I'll show you some of the differences that we have now in the router. So if I save here, the error will go away, right? so no error anymore. And now uh, we can use it the same as before, it has changed slightly. So the biggest differences are that, for example, if you want to get the path name to, to, uh, from your URL, you can now use use path name. This is a hook also imported from next navigation. <clears throat> right, so then you can get the path name here. I don't really have one, but um, here they show, if you hover it, you, they show an example, right? So uh, forward slash dashboard. If you use path name, you get forward slash dashboard. Right, so that's how you can get the path name now. And that's only on client components, right? So these hooks, you can only use them on client components. There's another hook that we get, use search params. Um, so here, um, if you, well, we can just hover for an example. So if you use this on a, uh, let's see, on a URL where there is a question mark foo is bar, you can use search params dot get foo and then you would get the value for that. Right, so here you do uh, need to work with it a little bit differently. So search params is gonna be an object on which you can call search params dot get, for example. Right, so that's how you can get the values for the parameters in the URL. Now this, these are client components. They're on a server component, you can also get the search params. So on a server component, you can actually just destructure this here as a prop. So you can actually just get search params and here for TypeScript, it wants to know what that is. So I can type it like this and then let's see search params, search params, and then uh, you can, you don't, you don't have to make it a client component anymore, right? So then you would not, you would not use, use router because that's a client uh, that's only on the client components. Uh, but you can still get the search params in, in a server component. So it's a bit clunky to work with perhaps if you're used to the old router, but uh, hopefully this fixed your issue. Oh, one more thing. If you're using, for example, events on the router, router events, that also doesn't work yet with the new route, with the new router, right? So this was also a nice feature that a lot of people were using, but now um, there's not really a clear way of doing that with the new router yet, right? So this doesn't work. All right, so hopefully uh, that uh, cleared up the new router for you. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.